Hoffmann, a poet, arrives at Luther's tavern with his friends, a merry bunch of students. They notice that Hoffmann is rather melancholy over his love Stella, so they coax him into telling one of his stories. When they ask why he loves Stella, he replies that he loves three women and begins to tell the story of his three loves. Hoffmann's first tale is of Olympia, the daughter of an inventor. Hoffmann has been invited to her debutante party and immediately falls in love with her. His friend warns him that there is something strange and lifeless about her, but Olympia sings for the guests, greatly impressing everyone with her virtuosic vocal skills. Hoffmann and Olympia dance. Olympia begins to spin around madly. She knocks Hoffmann to the floor. Her father's business partner realises that the cheque he has just received for his share is worthless. So, with murder in his eyes, he follows Olympia out of the room and returns with her mutilated body. As he throws her arms and legs around the room, Hoffmann realises that his beloved girl was nothing but a mechanical doll. Everyone laughs as Hoffmann realises his mistake. After losing Olympia, Hoffmann now loves Antonia, a frail girl with a beautiful voice who yearns to be a great singer like her mother. Her father has forbidden her to sing because she has a weak heart and singing will worsen her condition. Hoffmann visits Antonia while her father is out and, not knowing her condition, encourages her to sing a love duet that he has composed. But the singing exhausts her. Hoffmann now understands that if Antonia sings, she will die. He asks Antonia to marry him and promise that she will never sing again. Antonia agrees, but is saddened. She is torn between love and song. Alone, she hears her mother's voice in her head, encouraging her to sing. Her mother's portrait begins to glow, and her mother's voice speaks to her. Antonia begins to sing passionately. She sings until she falls on the floor. Hoffmann and her father rush in, but Antonia dies in her father's arms. Hoffmann, now disillusioned with romantic love, is only interested in wine and women. We now find him at a party in a palace in Venice. He meets the courtesan Giulietta as she and Hoffmann's friend sing a barcarolle.
His friend warns him against falling in love, but Hoffman scoffs. A sorcerer emerges from the shadows and uses a magic diamond to summon Julietta, who is hypnotized by the jewel. She is ordered to seduce Hoffman and capture his reflection in a mirror. Hoffman falls in love with her and loses his soul. He kills her boyfriend and tries to win her hand, but she laughs at him and sails away with the sorcerer on the Grand Canal. His story's over, Hoffman continues to drink. His friend tells them that all three women are different aspects of Stella. Hearing Stella's name, Hoffman curses and downs more drink. Stella enters the tavern, but Hoffman is too drunk. She leaves on the arm of another. Hoffman stirs, knowing that his pain and suffering will fuel his genius and inspire his next poetic creation. Thank you.